Yo, I was at the Gunner Show in Miami. We got a dope vlog. Shout out to my man Trey. He came through the weekend. We turned up together. But he said one of the funniest jokes ever because I was vlogging and shit. He's like, man, nigga, stop putting that camera on me. I'm out of the streets you knowing I'm at a Gunner Show. I'm like, yo, that shit had me rolling like crazy. But it made me think, like, there was mad girls there. Like, it was couples and females there. Like, oh, nah, the streets ain't really messing with Gunners. That was going on. Yo, we see a young thug's father at the sold out Atlanta show doing the Donald Trump dance. Remember the little Donald Trump dance he used to do when he was a president? Remember a little dance he used to do. It like he's doing the DT in front of the concert, the Donald Trump. That's what it looked like to me at the Gunner show. So if anybody's gonna be mad, it should be him. But he's been supporting Gunner since day one. I don't know the relationship between Gunner. I don't know the relationship between Thug and his father. That's one thing. What about little baby throwing shots at Gunner for his plea deal? He need to shut the fuck up, cause he don't know what's going on. You know, he's he's going off of what he what he heard. Ask him, ask little baby, have he ever came to a court date? Oh, okay. See, that's that's what I want y'all to ask these goddamn rappers and these bloggers with this old snitch shit and this. Did have when have y'all went to a court date to support Slime, to support Jeffrey, to support Thug, who however you want to name it? Go on their social media pages and say why in the. Haven't you been at the courthouse to support your dude? And I guarantee you won't get an answer. So that's how I feel. Everybody that hasn't been there needs to shut the fuck up about gun. Every time these artists are in the media, every time these artists are in trouble, we start seeing their father. It even happened with Daniel Hernandez, aka 6 9 Remember, he was like, nah, I'm not even cool with that dude. And I'm looking at the dude like, nah, he can't be lying. That has to be his father because he definitely looked like him. He looked like 6 9 Same head and all. Bad hairline and all. See, my son, you haven't seen him in so many years. Since why he was why eight years old. Why today? Today, because I, I saw him in the Google and the phone. And he's he's, he's gonna supposed to show off in the 18. That's why I kissed the team. If you were given a chance to speak today, what were you going to say? Uh, I love him so much that I miss you. How did he you find out saying? about his criminal issues? What you mean? How did he find out about it? How did I find out about yeah. it? It's all over the news. Um, what do you have to say about why you were absent from his life? Well, um, I was in prison. I got out. Before I went to prison, I had a contact with him. But then I went to prison. Then after I got out. Are you going to be present when he comes out? Are you going to be part oh, of the Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. You guys back it up. So is this something that's popping? Is this something that Young Thug's father knows? Like he talked to Thugger and it's still cool between both of them. Don't forget, Thugger need money right now. And if Thugger has to sit down for some time, who's the biggest artist on YSL? Who's the biggest artist on YSL? Gunna. Gunna for sure. You don't, I don't think you want to lose an artist like that if you're dealing with a case like this. I don't think just because he's rich, this shit costs a lot of money for these lawyers and all this right now. He paid his lawyer so much, his lawyer got arrested and he's doing the weekends with him. Like, don't worry, we'll work on the case on the weekends, brother. We ain't got nothing else to do together. We'll just talk about the case all weekend. Like, that's wild. That's wild. But let's check out real quick Young Thug's father doing the one-two step in front of the Gunna concert in Atlanta. I heard it was a soul sold out night Miami was a sold out night and there's not a lot of artists that can sell out the Miami Heat Stadium which is like Kaseya's Kaseya Sunday there's not many people that could do that we even went to to Travis Scott two nights in a row he sold out the first night but I had to push the second show to leg two because it never sold out which is wild to say which is very wild to say we're on that way to 10,000 subs we will be doing a giveaway at 10,000 subscribe to the channel if you guys like spider we're always doing spider unboxings we actually got us we actually got a treat coming to y'all real 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 soon <laughs> But you see what I'm talking about is young people, even someone. But y'all don't say that. A lot of young people, a lot of females in here. We pause it and all we see is girls in here. I was just in the one in Miami. They, a lot of shorties there. A lot of y'all like, oh, no, that's crazy. No street niggas in there. I'm happy. What? I'm happy. I'm happy. If Gunner does a, a spin around, we might go back to the Gunner show. I'm happy. There was no street niggas in there. I'm happy. But what y'all think? Look at this. He had his hands up and everything. Like, he riding a roller coaster. Like, he having the best time of his life in there. What do you guys think? Do you think he has some inside information? They also took a picture together. What do you guys think this means? Do you think there's some inside? Insider involved in insider information that he spoke to Thug and it's cool. Thug, then he's Tupac Shakur. Relax, relax. 
week. But yeah, man, what do you guys think about all Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, share your thoughts. Is he in the wrong or you think he got some information? Me personally, I'm going to say I think he got some information. And if you're speaking to Thug and Thug like, yo, nobody better go around this dude. Nobody better support. Or it's up when I see you. I don't think we would have seen anybody supporting Thug. You're going to hear Thug on that phone at some point. You're going to see him on that phone. Same to Lil Baby, to Lil Dirk. Yo, I don't with that nigga and I want to his album release date. F him. That, that was really real. So this whole thing where I don't know what's going on with his father. Because truth be told, it's kind of weird. Like you, you ever see somebody's artists, you've never seen their father before until when they're locked up. Like I've never seen Tory father a day in my life. No disrespect to him, but that nigga was... That nigga was over here like Kirk Franklin after, like, you know, Tory was. Wicked system of rock nation, yeah. including you, Jay Z. Yes, yes. You who yes. say you rose from the gutter, but you have traded and bartered the. I don't know what's going on with Thug and his father. I never seen him, you know what I mean, when Thug was wearing a dress pop out. Never, but he's, he's popping out now. All I know is Thug don't like Gunner. And, and maybe he's reconciled because, you know, he's at this point, like, he's just in a position. But. It was actually a fact, and I verified it directly. Thug sent messages to niggas saying he wanted to step on Gunna's release date because he didn't f*** nigga. Um, that's why I'm wondering how he feels about his father being there. Like, what? The fact that there's still people within that camp still showing love, why sell, still posting the album when it comes out. Thug's chant, Thug hasn't posted it on his Instagram at all, which I still think there's somebody running it, but the fact that if he wanted to post it on his Instagram, it, it could have been. But they've been posting it still on YSL, and I looked at the bottom of his last album, the one that he had like the blue scarf over his face, still YSL record. So share your thoughts down below. Are you a fan of Gunna? Are you gonna attend the, are you gonna attend the latest show? We got a vlog coming out to the channel. I also got a lot of the performance on video, so you know that's coming to the channel real, real, real soon. I'm probably gonna cook that up this weekend. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, share your thoughts.